Hello, I am Tulina Gumampanga. I am from the Aga Khan University under the Graduate School of Media and Communication where we have an amazing project or product which is Media Innovation Center and I work as a community manager overseeing the, our community within the East Africa but I'm based in Tanzania, Dar es Salaam. Oh, that's amazing. So at first it was a passion trying to do something which I will I would love to see the results. But after joining in projects slash uh, working with women, I realized that innovation sector is very dynamic and there are a lot that needs to keep on improving. And I really loved to be the voice behind it. So for about eight years now in the industry, I have seen women I've seen men, I've seen young people doing innovations, but also having so many problems. So being in the bridge, trying to help them from zero to where they want to go and solving local challenges, that has been my passion throughout. So whatever task I am doing, it's revolving around technology and innovation. No, there are not enough women in the sector of innovation and technology. And the reasons are coming back from early days uh, from the societies. Most women are tending to run away from this sector, assuming or maybe having this uh, stereotype that it's, it should be for men. I have to code. I have to do through uh, very difficult things. But nowadays, with so much advocacy, the ecosystem is trying to st strengthen things. Women are trying to learn, but also to embrace this uh, space as well. So I would say nowadays we are going there, but it's not yet 50-50 uh, or maybe it's equal. So, so many women are coming and I hope in near future, very soon with this advocacy, we shall have a bigger number of women in this uh, space. Well, the challenges I can say they're the same with men, but for women, there are a lot. You know, you have to, me being a woman, I have to prove myself double comparing to a man whenever it comes to opportunities. And then now for innovation, if I'm here, I'm saying I'm running something around the space or I'm trying to innovate something to solve my local challenges, everybody will be looking at me, but you are a woman or maybe you're a mother. You have a lot in your background. So that's the, having the same challenges as men in the space, but also being a woman, it's always, uh, especially in Africa societies, like women cannot do it, or maybe in, within ourselves, like we self-reject ourselves. So that is also a challenge. But having other challenges, for instance, I'll have to fundraise for my projects. I'll have to get qualified people to have, I mean, to, to convince them to join me running uh, this kind of technology or maybe this kind of innovation. It's always been a challenge. So. I would say the challenges are the same, but for women, they are numbered. Most of them are not like factual challenges. Most of them are within um, the stereotype or the myth around just being a woman and being in this sector. Oh, I love that. I think personally having the curiosity mindset uh, it's a plus for that, but also thanks to technology and thanks to social media that nowadays everything is just at your finger trip. I mean, fingertips, you can just get to know what is being uh, like a breaking news. Now we're over the TikTok, uh, Instagram, uh, chat GPT, like there are a lot of information about that. And maybe nowadays they have we have specific uh, trends or news that covers only the trending information or maybe the opportunities around in innovation and technology. So I always, whenever I wake up in the morning, I have to check uh, on, I have my specific applications that I always go and select or search for interesting news about technology, interesting news about Africa and innovation. So personally, that's it. And I believe a number of people nowadays are taking advantage of that, leveraging these uh, social media platforms to get themselves up to date when it comes to information about innovation and technology. I think I always try to think I am not a, ma a man or a woman when it comes to it because whenever I think that, okay, I'm a woman in this space, I always have to 
try to show like my, to be a woman but i always try to not show that i am a woman or my, i have this particular gender so that whatever i voice out whatever i advise it has to be listened but also i think it's it's generally within ourselves nowadays men i've seen with my colleagues they really don't care if i'm a woman or not but tool is speaking it's the same as someone else who would speak or would voice out about it so i always try to keep in my mindset first and then to come up with facts you know we are a woman but come up with facts try to improve yourself try to make sure that you're also i mean that you are contributing some value to the organization but also to the project that you're working on i think currently or as the day goes by the industry is trying to be very friendly to all men and women and especially now the ecosystem is trying to encourage more women for instance when it comes to finding opportunities they voice out and saying uh, if you're a woman applicant you'll be uh, considered more than other counterparts so that is good and i think it keeps Uh, encouraging women to apply when it comes to these opportunities but also i think more um more effort should also now be put into policies like government policies uh, when it comes to this uh, innovation and technology sector shouldn't uh, specify or maybe shouldn't cut out women or a certain type of age now we're talking about youth in general so having uh, all the policies uh, all the Uh, principles whatever that is governed in this industry should just look out as we are having innovators we are having people around technology but not male or female but also in personally uh, we shouldn't view women differently as how we view men when it comes to bringing or being an innovator being running a technology company Well, <laughs> that is tricky. Apart from uh, my current role that is official, but in person, I always try to voice out and write using my LinkedIn page to write stories or trying to change um, this narrative about women or youth. Like there are so many opportunities out there. Run after them. And sometimes I use my personal initiatives to even share the links to my colleagues, to my peers around my socials. but also uh to to give out to encourage the current people i am working on the innovator that i am supervising to like hey yes you you are a woman but you can do it better but also trying to organize the mentorship sessions for only women to understand the uh the holistic challenges they are facing as being a woman but also being an innovator so i am trying a lot and i i see myself as a gender uh, activist when it comes to these things and even at work i have tried to organize uh, some mentorship sessions where which it was a lot and you really need to have time to listen because women have so many problems which most of them yes they can be factual but also very emotional and they contribute a lot like a lot when it comes to them being an innovator or running and succeeding at the end of the day Um innovation in tech contributes a lot when it comes to uh empowerment for women and girls first brings equal opportunities for all men and women when i say opportunities includes uh business opportunities uh job opportunities but also learning opportunities we see now there's so many learning platforms where before if a woman or a girl is at home let's say a pregnant woman can stop or could stop going to school just because he's facing or she's facing some problems but now with technology uh, and learning platform accesses it's very easy for them to actually start or learn and wherever they are but also to bring about uh, business opp- i mean business opportunities and solutions wherever they are but also i see technology when it comes now to the very big issue around the globe which is climate change it tends or it usually affects more women than men than men because women are the one who are running homes but also they are facing issues about let's say shortage of water so they have to walk miles away to find water but now with innovation and technology they are bringing so many um solutions to curb climate changes which uh, ultimately it will help women and girls to 
I mean, to, I mean, to have their life uh, very effective or better comparing to before. So those, those are my two take currently, uh, the climate change issue, but also equal opportunities to both when it comes to education, business, and so many opportunities. All right, so uh, the challenges that are pushing behind um, the eco, I mean, the empowerment for women and girls or bringing about the equality, uh, first of all, is the security or when it comes to uh, online spaces or technological spaces. I can say male, men also fear these challenges, but for women, it's, uh, I mean, a hundred more than men. For instance, we, uh, the issues about being scammed online, you might see an opportunity for funding, but a man, a man can just go for it, with, I mean, regardless. But for women, like, oh, okay, well, this might be a scammer, or I'll, I might be uh, revealed my identity. So things like those are bringing back or they're pushing back um, when it comes to embracing the equality between men and women. But also something else is uh, failure to access these platforms or technological platforms. It could be for so many reasons. Uh, ignorance being one of it, but also some women are still fearing to uh, use these uh, platforms that are coming nowadays. But another thing could be due to the, um, their marginality or from rural areas. For instance, there's this, um, there's this statistic which we are done by UNICEF. It tends to match out the number between a, ma a man and a woman owning the phone, but also accessing these various platforms online. It said that most men brings, I mean, most men, I mean, it doubles a number of a woman who could access uh, these things. So I still, there, there's still a fear among us, ourselves as women, to access these platforms for so many reasons. Could be the society, what they tell us, or maybe how we grow up and seeing things um, comparing to our, our counterparts who are men. Yes, there is a very high need. I would say that we need um, safe spaces, technological spaces that are safe and advocating or encouraging more women to use these opportunities. Because you already see there are still some biasness when it comes to the opportunities for women and some of them might be factual and some of them might be due to the societies. So more spaces, more technological spaces, more platforms to advocate for uh, gender balance, for embracing equality for women. I think that is very, very crucial. I, 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 I can say yes, we still have a number of uh, women specific uh, platforms to share opportunities for women only. But I say I would love to see more of them coming it's not, it's not just a, for instance, just a page on Instagram, but could be an application for instance, specifically for women, and it should be a safe space for that. Um, for now, first of all, we start with number of applications. The number of applications uh, from women are very, very low. Um, it could be to, due to many reasons as well. Could be to for self rejection purposes. You'd say that okay, this this opportunity, but I see I cannot fit to this opportunity. Regardless, you haven't tried, but you have that self rejection. As women, we have that a lot. We still feel like we need to improve. I mean, to prove ourselves more. But for men, they just apply regardless. Like if I perish, I perish. Um, another reason I think uh, when opportunities come. When opportunities come for, for men, I mean for women, some opportunities might have, might have a very small window. So for men, they just go for it. But for us, we feel like I'll need like one more week to prepare. I'll need like a month to prepare for it. So before you know it, it's over. So I think women have to like speed up when it comes to uh, grabbing these opportunities, but also to not self-reject ourselves, but also to encourage ourselves to apply, to apply, but also to keep on innovating things around. Because there might be some local challenges I'm seeing around as a woman, but I'll just wait until like, okay, I can't do it because I'm a woman. But another fellow man can come and just do it and it succeeds. So that, those are the challenges I would say.
Being in this space of innovation and technology as a woman, my message for this International Women's Day 2023, as with a the theme of uh, embracing equity, what I would say or my message is that tunaweza, we can, we can do it regardless. So it's for us to speed up. I would love this year to be the year where women are speeding up, where the women are just pushing, are being bold, are being like fearless when it comes to opportunities, when it comes to learning, but also to embracing these opportunities. Yes, we can. Tunaweza na tunaweza kufanya vyema na tukafanikiwa.